we play games. It's called in our Hinyu. In my in my country, we have games. Guys, notebook, guys, Mr. Linux, guys, stop, guys. We have the winner, guys. Notebook, yeah, my Linux toy box is the winner, guys. So, Mr. Linux. So hey, this is gonna be a fun tutorial today. We're gonna start off by trying to make a sliding curtain and using Caden Live and uh, GIMP. This is an image I got for public domain from uh, Wiki, Wiki Images of a theater. Now I have taken that image and I stretched it out. But I went to this and up here to image, scale image, and I stretched out to 1280 by 720. It was a little bit was a little bit off center if you notice here it's not centered you can fix that by going to a perspective tool and you click on it here and you can move it and get it back lined up like you want to that changes the perspective on it so it looks straight in the window then if I take this and I uh, let's just do this real quick here This is going to be a quick one because I've already got it done. It's to give an idea on what, how it was done. Okay, so I've got that all picked out in there. And I'm going to say, okay, image, crop to selection. Then I take that layer right there and go, oh, I want to take my whole image, say scale image. Scale image, 1280. Unhook that aspect thing, 1280 by 720. And if I shrink that down where we can see it, but put the, uh, the view that will fit in the window, and there it is. This is what I have over here. The same thing, except it's just, uh, I shrunk it down a little bit. So there's the image. There it is. So there's that image. Now I took that image and I broke it into pieces. I cut it into pieces. Because what I wanted was a short piece of curtain up on top here. This longer piece that's in here, I want that raised up and split in half. That way, when I do my movie, I could slide this part half and this right here and slide it open and show what's behind it. Now, this is already done, but I've had other tutorials, so I know that you understand how this was done. There is where I cut that piece out of there. I cut the piece out. Now, of course, to cut it out, what you do is you come up here, you select that piece in the middle. Well, I couldn't, even, I couldn't do it like that. I had to hand pick it out like this and select that area in the middle and then cut it. And I wound up with that as being the curtain right there. Now, if I put this curtain bit at the back in it, I've got that big top. I don't want the big top. I want a little top in there. So I cut the top out separate. And I shrunk it. And this is what I wound up with. Right there. The small top. And the bottom. Then I took the bottom. And increased the size of it. So when you look at it now. You have this small piece up on top and the big curtain on the bottom. But I don't want that whole big curtain because I want to use pieces of it. I want to be able to slide it open. So if I close that off, I cut that curtain in half and pasted it. Then I cut the other half and I pasted it. So when you put it all together, there is the image. But that image is actually made up of one, two, three, four different 
pieces. Now from this image that we have broken into pieces, we only need three. We gotta take the top one, the top layer and bottom layer, they, they can be merged together. So we're gonna merge that down. So there's one layer, that's one image. So we're gonna call this one, export as base ping. B-A-S, base ping. We're gonna take this layer, export as left ping. And the next layer as right ping. Export as right ping. Now we go into Caden Live. In Caden Live, we're gonna put a layer in up here. Well, first we gotta bring these images in. We bring the three images in we want. We're gonna bring in one to the image folder. Caden Live to the images. We're gonna go left. We wanna import the left, right, and the base import them. Now we import the base and put the base in. Right there. And we want that to be as long as our whole video. That's how we long we want it to, to last in there. So if we, uh, see if I make it bigger, I can just drag it. Otherwise, I've got to put the number in there. I just drag it, say. Okay, so that'll put a base over. This is the only section I want the base in. And then we want to drag one of the curtains in. We'll drag one curtain in there. And let's make another layer insert a track, a video track, and then we want to put that one in. And hopefully, when I click here, we have closed curtains. There you go. The curtains are closed. So to open that curtain, now again, we want that to be as long as our sequence is here. We want this one, I want to put another layer in there, insert track, uh, video track, that's because that's, I want that separately. Now if you notice here, I've got all the images in place already in Caden Live uh, that were created with the uh, GIMP program. I'm going to back these down so you can look at these, I'll turn them off. And we see the top one up here, that's the background. Now, although this looks black, that's really a transparent. It shows up black as the uh, uh, through Caden Live. Now we put one of the curtains in, and here you see the curtain on the left side, the other curtain on the right side, and you can't see. Now, if I shut the curtains, open the curtains, you can see the background image there. Now we're going to shut both these curtains, and we're going to position them and zoom them. What you do, you click on the image that you're gonna be working on. You go up here to crop and transform. And down here you see position and zoom. When you click that position and zoom, it will bring this window up right here. This window is what you will use to tell that curtain to open and shut. When you first bring the window up, there will only be this one mark right here. And if we go to that point right there, we see that the curtain is shut. We want it open by this point right here. 
got to get that exact there we want it open now if you notice what happened we'll go back to where it was over here It's 1280 by 720 is the size of the image. Now what we want to do is shrink it and slide it over. So if we go to this point here, see this 1280 by 720? If we go to this point here, we see the curtain has shrunk to 434. And that can actually be drug around with this right here. You take this right here and you can open it and shut it. We want at that point right there, we want it to be not open all the way, we want a little bit showing, we want it right there. Now by the very end, if you click down here, see that was done with a key frame. If you go down here, there's another key frame and that's identical to the keyframe before it. It starts out identical. Now we go to that. Now we want the, the curtain's going to be open all the way. But by this point right here, we want the curtain to be shut. And if we start to run it, Let's go up here. Now, if we start to run it near the very end, we'll watch the curtain start to shut. That is all done with the position and zoom. That position and zoom will take that image, will take that curtain, and close it. The background image that background image is then exposed when the curtains are open. We'll look at it again and put the framework around it and there it is. We'll do one more real quick. Maybe we can actually move one of these and uh let me see if I can show one of these created. We'll get rid of this one right here and not have it here. And I'll stick a blank in this spot. We will put a, there's no curtain showing there. We'll insert a track. There's a video track right here. We'll turn everything off except for this outside frame. We'll use this outside frame right here and we'll drop a new curtain in. That way we can do the whole thing and you can look at it happen. There's where the curtain is, right there. We'll take that curtain, make it longer. We'll want to actually drag that out to the very end right there. And if you see at all points now, every point that curtain is the same size. Now all I'm going to do, well, this is already done. I'm doing this for a demo to show how this is accomplished. We'll go to the very beginning right here. We'll position and zoom that. So there's the position and zoom. And you see it's all the way shut. Now we're going to make this a little different so you can see it exaggerated. We'll pick this point right here. We'll make that a keyframe. And we'll say by this keyframe right here, by this point, we're going to want this curtain to be open all the way. Now the way this is set up originally is you see the little mark here, that little lock aspect ratio. You've got to unlock the aspect ratio. It needs to be unlocked because when you make this width smaller, you don't want the height to shrink to. So you unlock it right there. Then we can take that corner and drag it in. And the curtain.
curtain is open. Now if we go back and play that, we can watch it happen in real time. So we go here and play it, and we watch it. Watch up here, specifically up here. By the time it gets to this point right there, you'll see it moving slowly. By the time it gets to this point right here, it will be open. And that's how you make the sliding. And see what it did is I had this off so it didn't show that bottom one. But uh, we'll go through and open it again here. And as it opens. And that's how you make the open curtain using Caden Live.